I've strung together a few video clips showing the fabrication process. Um, it's something that's fairly straightforward. I'm just making a mount for the dry sump pump and, uh, and the dry pulley. But as with anything, uh, it's often a little bit more complicated than it sounds. So I've, I've uh, strung together uh, um, probably 15 or 20 hours worth of work into a five minute video. So this is a six stage dry sump pump from uh, NASCAR. It's made by a company called Auto Verity in Europe. Uh, it's a good, good quality unit. Um, I needed to mount it to the EcoBoost engine uh, and a good spot uh, for mounting was, uh, I decided was the alternator mount because uh, because it needs to go on the uh, um, uh, that side of the engine. So I started with a, uh, a cardboard template, uh, made this template up uh, and then transferred and, uh, and made this unit uh, for mounting out of uh, just mild steel. It's uh, TIG welded together um, and, and it slides over there quite uh, quite well. Um, it'll give me some adjustments and then I had a, uh, another brace that I needed to make uh, to, uh, to, to brace that whole unit uh, for, uh, so it doesn't pivot. So it's all made out of mild steel, uh, like I said, tick welded together. Um, I've covered it with steel at paint, which is a, uh, should be a good durable rust resistant coating for it. Uh, next, uh, one of the next tasks is making a, uh, a drive adapter for the front of the uh, uh, the vibration damper to, to, to drive the pump and I've got a couple of belts on order for it already. So I got the uh, the vibration dampener off here and it was a bit of a pain to pull it off. It's I'm surprised it's not uh, it doesn't have a keyway in it at all so it's not like uh, other engines that I've seen. I didn't have um, I didn't have a big enough piece of aluminum to uh, to, to, to do it uh, so I had to cut it out of plate. Uh, I've done it on my band so my wood band saw uh, for cutting the aluminum, it doesn't really have enough power to to, to cut through two inch thick plate. But uh, it took a while to do it, so it's, it's not perfectly round. But uh, you know, I got it mounted up in the lathe here, uh, the, the other half, and uh, and uh, it mounts fine in the three dot chuck, so it'll it'll turn up just fine. <laughs> Uh, 20 minutes later, we got the uh, the first side done. Everything will be concentric because uh, I turned it all in one shot. And, uh, and now I got to flip it around. I'll uh, I'll dial in. I put a through bore on it. I'll dial in the bore, make sure everything's running true, and then finish the other side. So that's the sketch of the part I just made. Um, started with a, a block of aluminum, cut out a plate like that, and. Uh, about an hour and a half, hour and three quarters later, and there's the finished part, and it turned out pretty good. And it's a nice fit down inside the uh, the vibration damper. There's a, there's a pilot diameter on it there, and, uh, and the through bolt just just goes down through here. So uh, I got to wait uh, probably a week for the uh, to make the other half because I'm waiting for an HTD uh, pulley to arrive, and uh, I want to make sure it's a good fit on there. I'm a little concerned because. Uh, as I said, the, uh, uh, the vibration damper does not have a key way to drive it. It's just a friction fit on the snout of the crankshaft. And I'm a little worried that uh, if the bolt comes loose in, in this aluminum part, um, you know, uh, suddenly uh, I've got no drive for the, uh, the oil. And uh, that wouldn't be a good thing. So I think I'm just going to put a couple of uh, you know, little drive pins right in the bottom here. And, uh, and drill a couple of holes down inside the damper to, uh, to lock them in there so everything's locked together. Anyway, that's the plan. So I've decided that I was going to turn my six-stage uh, dry sump pump into a five-stage because because uh, the six-stage was, was just overkill for the little V6 engine. I, I didn't need that much suction. Uh, so two, uh, two of the stages here are actually uh, identical. Uh, so I'm just going to... Uh, Gonna leave one out. Uh, my plan was to shorten the uh, the tie bolts as well as the uh, the, uh, the drive shafts for the uh, the oil uh, oil pump stages. I had a second uh, brand new set of uh, of shafts. Um, this one here, but as you can see, the unfortunately the uh, the width of the main gears on the oil pump itself, the main pump, are not the same. 
So rather than buy another new, whole new housing for uh, for that stage, uh, I'm just going to take and modify the, uh, uh, the the original shaft. So Plan B turns into Plan A for uh, for today's mods. Okay, so we've changed the six stage uh, dry sump pump into a five stage. And everything worked pretty good. Um, the uh, the pump rotor is a little bit tighter than uh, the one we started. I'm not sure if it'll loosen up uh, with with use. I got a few spare parts left over and uh, one one more tie bolt to put in. I uh, I cut new uh, new threads in the ends and uh, make them all shorter. So yeah, everything's working. Now turning the uh, the, the end cap for the oil pump drive. Just drilling the bolt holes to uh, to attach the uh, the two pieces together. Just got a couple of flower run out uh, overall. Uh, it uh, looks pretty good. And here I have everything installed. Uh, only piece I'm waiting for now is the uh, the drive belt. That's it.